Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to reaction time today We're gonna be looking at the funniest text messages of all time So basically these are texts that just went completely wrong. You can call them text fails I mean everybody had those moments I know I had a lot of those moments where I actually sent the text to the wrong person It was a text that wasn't supposed to go to my mom, but it went to my mom and She couldn't look at me the same way ever since like the worst feeling is when you come home after accidentally sending your mom that text, what do you say? Do you say, oh, mom, that wasn't meant for you. I really don't want to slap your butt and shower naked. Oh. But without further ado, we're going to get right into this video. This is going to be extremely funny. So I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. All right, so this girl's texting her mom. I got an A in chem. WTF? Well done. Mom, what do you think WTF means? Well, that's fantastic. That's not what it means, mom. Mom, please know your abbreviations before you actually type them out in text. My mom does the same thing. Like, oh my, like, please. I don't think moms should actually be able to text. Like, unless they actually know what they're saying. Let's just, let's just stay on the phone. Like, keep, keep it with voice calls and that's it. We just ate. Okay, so you can be here at five. We'll see. How does the turkey smell? I guess through its beak. Knee slapper. That's a knee slapper right there. <laughs> I guess through its beak. That's actually a funny ass dad. Like I wish that was my dad He would actually make my day with saying stuff like that. Just imagine throughout the day He just always sarcastic, but I can see where it gets really annoying and actually inappropriate at times All right, this is a text from mom dad and I fondled ourselves for the first time last night We didn't get good results though. Nothing came up mom. I don't know what you tried to write, but that's hilarious Damn auto erect. I mean auto correct. I meant we googled ourselves no results Okay, mom, you definitely meant we googled ourselves. Okay, you didn't mean anything else. We know you're a dirty little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Imagine the, the daughter, she's just like, I don't need to know that, mom. I don't need to know how you made me. That's disgusting. Yo, where you at, girl? So fucking hammered. Come to Briantney's. We're gonna get white girl wasted. Hi there, random intoxicated person. While I would love to abandon my sobriety in the manner of a Caucasian female, as you so eloquently suggested, I am unable to do so as I have a woefully boring engagement known to many as a job that starts promptly at 8 tomorrow. Therefore, I must decline your offer. The fuck? LOL, are you drunk already? This girl is... Alright, let's try this again. OMG, girl, you got the wrong number, K. <laughs> you gotta text them the same way they would text you. It's the only language this drunk girl understands. <laughs> what did the ocean say to the other ocean? What? Nothing, they just waved. Oh. Do you see what I did there? No. I'm sure you did. How do you have friends? Don't be such a beach. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this one's amazing. He just used ocean analogies. That was such a good play on words. Imagine this was my friend. I would love my life. Every day I would get different analogies. But I could see where it gets really... It would piss me off a lot eventually. Yeah, I don't want that as a friend. Never mind. I take that back. Babe, how much do you love me? Well, look at the stars and count them. That's how much I love you. But it's morning. Exactly. Oh my god, that was literally worse than getting friend zone. Dude, did you guys feel that? I just want to I just want to go over there and give her a hug and be like, it's okay. He wasn't even worth it anyways. Like that must have burned a lot. I'd rather get friend zoned. Dude, how drunk was I last night? Well, at one point I convinced you to try and bite your own nose. Then what happened? You were rolling around on the floor for an hour screaming, it's getting away! It's getting away! I hate you more than words can express. <laughs> Hey, it's not his fault, Sean. If you know that's what happens when you get drunk, that's your problem. You shouldn't have gotten drunk in the first place. If you don't want your friends to mess with you like that, then just don't get drunk, okay? This is from Cole. Hey, what are you doing? Laying in bed? Mmm, just laying in bed? Nothing else? I'm eating cereal. Haha, <laughs> nice. What would you do if I was in bed next to you? Eat my cereal? LOL, I mean, if the cereal wasn't there, then I'd get out of bed. And go get cereal. She doesn't like you, Cole. She doesn't want to send you nudes. She's into processed cornflakes with milk more than she's into you. I mean, that's that's how sad your life is right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Dad, there's a moth on the outside of the bathroom door. Can you get rid of it? Please hurry because I'm going to cry. Dad, dad. Dad is dead. Your next love moth. Oh, my God. That is the most savage dad I've ever seen. The biggest troll. You're definitely coming here for Christmas, right? I am cooking ham. 
Yes, and I'm bringing drugs. Oh, like hell you are. Don't you even think about bringing drugs into this house, Melissa? Wow, chill, mom. I mean, I'm bringing Doug. Well, why did you just say that? Hey, it's not her fault. It's not the mom's fault. It's Melissa's fault. Jesus Christ, Melissa, you should have corrected it once you saw you put drugs by accident. By accident. We know you bring drugs into this house, Melissa. Don't even lie, Melissa. We know how much you like to store cocaine, Melissa. Too much? Is that too much? Okay, I'm sorry. So the dad texted his daughter. You left your phone at home. Well, jeez. Thanks, dad. Now that I know I left my phone at home, even though I don't have my phone with me, so how could I actually know I left my phone at home since I'm not home right now and my phone is at home? Best dad in the world. Uh, honestly, the dad just cares about her, but that wasn't smart at all. Come on, you left your phone at home. If the phone is at home, why would you text her to let her know you left your phone at home? That's not the brightest dad in the world. I'm sorry. It's really not. I would not respect that as a father figure. Like, you better get straight A's. I'm gonna be like, yeah, you better not be stupid. Shit, please don't hit spank me. Stop, stop. I'm sorry. That's some of the funniest text messages. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys want to see a part two by liking this video. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time in another episode. Until then, have a great one. And peace out. Hey there, if you ever get bored of watching people sat in silence, maybe you should come and check out the We Know Nothing podcast, where we talk too much. If you want to listen to two drunk best friends talking about current events, opinions, and embarrassing stories, be sure to check us out.